Hi everyone, it's Olivia and welcome to the kitchen. Today I am pulling together Barbara O'Neill's flu bomb recipe. The flu bomb is as it says and I have shared this recipe um, with some of my friends and they they have told me it is quite potent and you do get used to the flavour and I actually just like to consume it um, as a preventative now and to help support my immune system. So in here, uh, what I'm chopping up right now is some garlic. I'm chopping up four cloves because I'm going to do quite a big batch. I'm going to do about one and a half litres of liquid which I'll drink some tonight but then I'll also um, put it into the fridge and then just warm it up on the stove uh, for tomorrow as well. Now garlic uh, is probably one of my favourite herbs. It is the mighty healer. It prevents so many diseases and uh, it fights bacteria infections. It's an antibiotic and an antiseptic. So that is a must for the flu bomb. Next is ginger. Ginger is important, it's a calmative, it treats exhaustion and it helps with headaches. Um, it is not recommended for those with stomach ulcers. So if you've got a um, um, sensitive stomach or um, you need to be, you know, do your own research. But um, for natural headache relief and to give yourself a lift, ginger is something that we're going to put in here. So I'm putting in about that much into my big pot. With a spoon, I'm just going to scrape scrape the skin off. It's quite simple once you once you get around. Uh, what else we're we putting in here? So uh, I will be putting the ginger and garlic in the pan and putting about one one and a half litres of water in there and then bringing that up to a boil. Once it's up to a boil, I'll put the lid on it and let it cool down completely and let it steep for about 10 or 15 minutes with the lid on. That way any um, oils are going to be trapped on the lid and then go back into the broth. And then once that has happened, so after it's been steeping for that amount of time, we will then put in the juice of two lemons. Now lemons are full of vitamin C. Um, they might not have as much vitamin C as other um, fruits or vegetables, but they are such a complete and well balanced um, fruit with the organic acids and the mineral salts in the lemon that makes it um, such a good cold and flu remedy. It also has um, antiseptic properties as well which will help soothe the throat. I'm just going to give this a quick rinse. Okay. The ginger goes in the pot with the garlic. I'm going to quickly add the water in and I'll talk about the honey. The honey has come from our own bees, so it's local raw honey. Um, it's last season's honey, so it's candied a bit, but that'll be fine when we melt it into the tea. Uh, if you can see in there, we've got lots of bits in there. It's um, all the bee propolis and all the um, antibacterial healing um, properties are in there. So um, bee propolis will actually kill bacteria. So that is the good stuff. That's what we want. And we'll um, put that in to make this broth palatable. So we'll put two, the juice of two lemons, the honey and cayenne pepper. I am just learning about this um, this herb it is super powerful and there is a saying what doesn't kill you will make you stronger and I can assure you that it's not going to kill you 
you'll feel a warm um, tingling sensation as you swallow it you'll feel it warming down your throat it cayenne pepper unlike the ginger will not upset the stomach lining at all um, in fact there has been um, studies found let me just read it there have been studies out of the University of California that it there's evidence that it will help lower cholesterol um, associated with stroke reduce high blood pressure help um, reduce heart disease and there's evidence it will prevent even stomach ulcers so it is amazing what um, why we put it in the flu bomb is that it'll open up all the airways you'll be able to breathe better you'll immediately feel that it um, it'll stimulate this uh, your circulation it'll open the airways and um, it helps with sinusitis bronchitis um, and it's well known to treat colds and flus so that is going in there just I'll just probably tap in I can handle it so I'll probably do about four taps if you're new to it just a light sprinkle it is very potent and you will feel the benefits from it okay so we've got the garlic and ginger here and we're going to add to that the lemon juice spraying the seeds out they're never nice <laughs> and I'll put in uh, that beautiful honey. It's quite crystallized, this one. For a batch that size, I'm gonna do a quite a bit. And like I said, this will help make it all palatable with the um, cayenne pepper so I'm putting that much in you can see all that propolis in there all those bits are really beneficial just melt that off the spoon and I'll show you roughly how much um, cayenne pepper I put in I quite like the taste of it and the warming feeling so I will probably put in that much um, for one and a half litres. But like I said, if you're not, just do probably that much. And uh, I'm quite comfortable with having it and I appreciate the benefits from it. It's a lovely orange hue to it. Um, the cayenne pepper does settle to the bottom so if you're drinking it throughout the day and um, make sure that you give your teacup a little swirl so that it brings the cayenne pepper up um, otherwise you'll get a, a strong hit at the end of the cup enjoy the benefits of this um, remedy